In this video, in National 5, we're looking at factorising trinomials. And I'm calling this part 1, simply because there's quite a few different types of trinomials you can be factorising, and it can be quite tricky. I'll just point out, the word trinomial, tri, T-R-I, triangle, triple, triplets, tripod, all means three. So this is where you've got three parts to it. And we're calling this part 1, because we're only looking at ones where there's no coefficient of x squared. So this is possibly a bit easier, but we'll start with this and then in the other videos we'll move on. So when there's no coefficient of x squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these two examples using these four steps and then I'm going to go through some other examples. So when there's no coefficient of x squared, as there is in both of these examples, we draw two sets of brackets. So I'll start with this one first of all. And in part two here, it says write the letter at the start of each bracket. Now, in this one here and in this one, it happens to be X. But it's worth noting it could be any letter. It could be A, it could be C, it could be anything. So write this letter at the start of each one. Because we know that X times X gives me the X squared. In step three, it says if the second sign is positive, which it is, because that's the first sign and that's the second sign. So if the second sign is positive, both signs in the brackets are the same as the first one. So if the second sign is positive, which it is, these two signs will be the same as that sign. So they're both going to be positive. This one here was if the second sign is negative, then one sign is positive and one sign is negative. But we don't need to worry about that just now. In part four, we're looking for two numbers. So find two numbers that multiply together to give the last number. And either add or subtract to give the middle number. And then we place these in the brackets. So two numbers that multiply together to give me this number and add together to give me this number. It's going to be six and six. Because 6 times 6 is 36, and 6 add 6 is 12. I'm going to look at this one now. So again, there's no coefficient of x squared. So I'm just going to do as it says in step 1, draw two sets of brackets. And we write a letter at the start of each bracket. So it's going to be x squared, it means it's going to be x and x. And in here, in step three, it says if the second sign is positive, which it is, both the signs in the brackets are the same as the first one. So they're both going to be negative. And this time we're looking again for two numbers that multiply together to give me this number and either add or subtract to give me this number. So right away, I know that it's going to be four and five because four times five, four times five is 20, and four add five is nine. We're going to use some other examples. Now we have two more examples to try, and we're just going to go through the same thing. So again, there's no coefficient of x squared, so we can just draw two sets of brackets. And we're told to write the letter at the start of each bracket. So again, it might not always be x, but in these examples so far it has been. So write x here and x here. And if the second sign is positive, both signs are the same. Well, it's not. If the second sign is negative, which it is, then one sign is positive and one sign is negative. So I'll make this one positive and this one negative. Step four, we're looking to find two numbers that multiply together to give the last number and add or subtract to give the middle number. So the two numbers I'm thinking about are seven and two because seven take a wee two gives me, sorry, seven and five because seven take away five gives me two. Now the dilemma we face is which way round we get it because we want negative 2. So do we add 7 and take away 5? 
Well, if we've got positive 7, take away 5, that just gives me positive 2. But if we've got positive 5, and we take away 7, that gives me negative 2. And that's our answer there. 35 sometimes a kind of easier one to do because the only, only really factors you do have is 7 and 5 or 35 and 1. I'll try this one here. So again, there's no coefficient of x squared. So we'll just draw two sets of brackets. And we write the letter at the start. So we write x and x. And the second sign is negative, which it is then one sign is positive and one is negative. And we're looking to find two numbers that multiply together to give the end number and either add or subtract to give this number. So 27, I'm thinking 9 and 3 because I know that 9 take away 3 gives me 6. So I want positive 6. So my thought is I'm going to have positive 9 take away and that's going to work out nicely. Okay, I'm going to do another example with you. So these final two examples, once again, no coefficient of x squared, so we're just going to draw the two sets of brackets. Write the letter at the start of each bracket. It says here, if the second sign is positive, which it is, both the signs are the same as the first one. So they're both positive. And we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give the last number that add together to give me 7. So the two numbers I'm thinking is 3 and 3 and 4. Because 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 add 4 is 7. And what we'll do is I'm just going to prove this to you. We'll multiply it out. So x times x is x squared plus 4x the bottom bit plus 3x and then plus 12 so we've got x squared plus 4x plus 3x this is just going to become positive 7x and then the plus 12 at the end we've messed this part up a wee bit by drawing the multiplying out but basically that's our answer that's our answer there we'll look at this bottom one here this is a little bit more tricky again no coefficient so we just draw two sets of brackets we just write this letter twice so we write x and the second sign is negative which tells me that one sign is positive and one sign is negative and we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give that n number, the add or subtract to give this number here. So this number here is actually negative 1 or 1. So we're thinking what times together to give me 42 that I can add or subtract to get 1? Well, two numbers that multiply together to give me 42 are 7 and 6. And we know that 7 take away 6 gives me 1. What we're actually trying to get here is essentially it's really negative 1 that we're trying to get. So do we add 7 and then take away 6? Well, if we add 7, then take away 6, that actually gives me positive 1. So what I want to do is add 6 and take away 7. And what I can do is I can just multiply that out just to prove. So we do this part times this. So we get x squared. Then we do this times this. Minus 7x. This times this. So it's positive 6x. And then negative 6 times negative 7, sorry, positive 6 times negative 7 gives me negative 42. So if we've got, the, the bit that's going to change is the middle part. So negative 7x add 6x gives me negative 1x. And um, that's So really, x there, it's all a bit spread out here. But basically, x squared take away x take away 42 is the same as this here. So we'll get rid of these. And that's our answer there. Okay, I hope this has been helpful.
please like, please subscribe, please feel free to suggest any other mass videos you'd like to see, like to see. and I'll see you in part two. Bye!